Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This video is a special topics video I want to do about Mercrozer 3.0 liter engines and uh, explain how you might have a, a good engine. I'm not going to say a bad engine, but there is a better engine and there's a worse engine. So let me explain what I'm talking about. So the engine I'm doing right now is a 3.0 liter uh, Mercrozer engine. And this is the later model. This is probably late 1990s to sometime into the 2000s. And what's different about it is, first of all, the rod number is, literally, excuse me, the bearing part number is um, CB1227P. And that bearing, let me get another one out of the box here real quick. I think you'll understand what I'm talking about when you see this bearing. So here's the bearing, the CB1227P. So you can see how narrow that bearing is. That's a, this is what they call the narrow bearing model engine. This bearing is 0.71 inches wide. And obviously it goes on this narrow crank journal. It doesn't even take up the whole crank journal, matter of fact, it, it, it sits in here like this. And you see there's plenty of room around it. But, the, uh, but that's what they recommend. So that's the narrow rod bearing. And um, I don't know, I, gotta, I don't know why they have so much wasted space on this journal that that rod bearing didn't take up. I have a hunch that they just didn't want to make a new bearing. Uh, they already had the bearing in stock. That's for like a 3.1 liter V6, General Motors 3.1 liter V6 or some other odd sizes. And it's almost like they didn't want to make a new bearing just for the three liter engine, I don't know. So let me compare that or contrast that with this other. This is the 3.0 liter, the, le the early style. And you can see how much beefer, how much wider that bearing is. This bearing, this bearing just so happens to be 0.8, I want to say it's 0.87 inches wide. And these are the exact same bearings that run in the LS motor. The, the, the connecting rod bearing for stock is a, uh, or a connecting rod bearing for the LS motor is the same, is the exact same bearing. It's the same box. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's that part number right there, CB663P8. If you want to buy a set of bearings for a Mercruiser 3.0, you order CB-663P4. You just get four. So why don't you, they're the same price. So just go ahead and get the eight at the same price and you'll have four spares. So I buy one box and do two engines if I happen to have two engines of size. But anyway, this is the earlier model. I like I say the bearing is wider. Let me come over and show you the crankshaft. So this is the crankshaft and it's noticeably wider at the crank than the other engine. So this is an early style crankshaft. It's going in this engine right here. So I'm building two 3.0 liter engines and one of them is different than the other. So why am I telling you this? So generally the wider the bearing, the more load it can handle. So a, a wider bearing is a better design. It, it can handle a more, a more uh, severe load under heavy stress at high RPM than the narrow bearing. So this particular engine is a narrow bearing engine. In one of my videos on 3.0 liters, I showed an uh, engine where the, the rod came loose and went through the side of the block. And then I did a video showing all the pistons and the damage and the damage to the rods. If you look through that video, if you look through that video, you'll see that it was a narrow design engine. And I have a hunch that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, ha a lot of the damage had to do with the fact that it was a narrow design engine. So that customer got, I bought a new a core engine and I got a, it looks like I got an early model engine because he got a better design now. He's got a better crank and a better uh, block. This particular engine is the customer's block. There's nothing wrong with his block. He had one in his oil and uh, never did really find out where it was coming from. But uh, there was no really no damage to this block, so I, I'm reusing it. And I'm also using a crankshaft. There was no damage to the crankshaft. This matter of fact, this crank wasn't even turned. These are, if you look at this part number, if you look at the part of them, you see it doesn't say dash 10 or whatever. So this is not an undersized bearing. It's a factory stock size bearing. So um, again, you want to, personally, if you want to get a 3.0 liter engine or a boat with a three liter engine, you need to stay in the 1990. I don't know what the, when they change. I'll find out and post that in the description. I, I can find out by looking on the, on some of the websites when the when the part numbers changed for the bearing and i can tell you what years that it changed but um i'll post that in the description of what years they changed bearing sizes and also changed engine types but 
If you can, you want to get a 3.0 liter engine with the wide bearings. Now, I'm not saying the narrow bearings are no good or don't run, don't work well. But if, but if you want my advice, you need to run premium gas in a narrow bearing engine. That's what's going to save these bearings. Because what's happened, you have detonation. In the, at high RPM, you can have detonation due to low octane. And you can't hear it, you can't feel it. But the bearings, are, it's like a hammer hitting these bearings over and over again. And in time, those bearings just get flat. Well, those bearings get flat and then you end up with a rod knock and it won't be long for your engine's completely destroyed. And I think that's what happened to the, uh, the other customer's engine, the rod. The bearing got hammered so bad, the rod eventually broke and went through the side of the block. So um, I just wanted to point this out, that there's two 3.0 liter engine types, a narrow bearing and a wide bearing. And the, you want to get the wide bearing if you can. If you don't have the wide bearing, you need to run, the, the basically, the, the bottom line is you need to run it, it, no less than 89 octane. I would say 91 to 89 octane gas in a narrow bearing engine for it to last. So that's all I want to say on the three liter engines. And um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe if you found it useful. Thanks for watching.